All right, chip of the day. Everybody loves chip of the day. Today, we are gonna be looking at current regulator diodes. So there are voltage kind of regulator diodes, Zener diodes, but these are current regulator diodes. These are kind of a strange beast. And um, they look like a diode, but they have very strange characteristics. So this particular group of uh, diodes are 1N, 5283, all the way up to 5314. And they are various currents. So what is a current regulator diode? Well, it's a regular diode, okay? And if you put in a voltage, uh, you will end up with some current through the diode. Current is constant regardless of what voltage you have, all right? So uh, you can get them anywhere from 0.2 milliamps up to 4.25 milliamps. That's basically the range you can pick and the pretty fine graduations of, of these currents. So pick the one you need and that's the way you go. If you just had a resistor, then the current through the resistor varies with the voltage, but you have this diode, magic diode, it doesn't matter what the voltage is, the current will stay the same. All right, um, so let's look at one on a curve tracer. Um, these are actually quite expensive and rare these days. Um, they were used in some power supply and people keep them around for spare parts for that thing and there's only a few versions you can get. Anyway, they're, 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 they're like $7 for a stupid diode, something ridiculous like that. There are other current regulator diodes though. So the chip of the day is going to be a J511. And uh, this is made by Vichy, a J series 511, but it is a, uh, a diode. So you can see here, it's in a TO92 can, but it's just two pins and um, you have uh, anode cathode and, and, and you're done. The 511 is 4.7 milliamps, okay? So let's put on a curve tracer and see what constant current diodes look like. All right, we have our curve tracer set up. Uh, we're at five volts per division horizontal and one milliamp vertical. So, and remember this is supposed to be 4.7 milliamps. So there's one milliamp, two milliamps, three milliamps, four milliamps, 4.7 milliamps, and it stays the same uh, regardless of what voltage I have on it. It's just, it's just a flat line, okay? Let's take it over a bit farther. So this is 50 volts. 60 volts, 70 volts, 80 volts. Yeah, so it's a very high voltage part too. That you can use these. I think they're specified to 50 volts, but obviously it goes farther than that. But you can see it's, it's, it's not a perfectly flat line. It has a little slope to it, but basically it does have a, a, a constant, a fairly constant current, okay? All right, so uh, that's what it, does. All right, so what if you don't have one of those diodes? Well, you can make one. Here's a JFET, okay? Um, JFET, has to be a JFET. Um, and uh, you hook it up like this, and uh, the gate, gate, in, uh, gate in source, uh, I think that's what this is, drain, source, and gate. And if you ground the, the gate, then it will operate uh, completely on. You have to negative bias these things in order to turn them off. They want to just be on all the time and they can be on as, as much as they can and that is a particular current. So um, let's hook up this circuit over on the curve tracer and we'll see how much current we get out of it. All right, now we're gonna be looking at a 2N5457 with the uh, gate and source tied together. Um, and here we go, it looks just like that diode. It goes up and then it goes flat, okay? And this one is, let's get a little more resolution. 
Uh, so one milliamp, two milliamps, two, yeah, so just over two milliamps, just over two milliamps, it starts to do the flat thing again. Uh, so yeah, it does, oh, and then we're breaking down here at uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, about 75 volts it breaks down. So this one's good also to 50 volts right there. Let's turn down our voltage a bit here. Yeah, there we go, we'll go all the way across. All right, so uh, yeah, it does exactly the same thing as the diode did, so uh, no need to actually buy a diode. All right, um, let's look at a different part. Okay, now we're gonna be using a different JFET. This JFET is a J310. And the 310 goes up here to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, I'll, oh, and it, this one breaks down a little sooner. So this is a 25, 30, 35. This one breaks down around 40 volts, so not quite as high. And uh, so, but it's fairly constant current as well. All right. All right, so we saw that we can use the JFET as a constant current diode. Okay, it, and if you put this all in one package, you would just have two pins. And guess what? Um, looky here. Uh, so this is the Vichy 511 that I had. And it says here is the schematic diagram of it. They basically just use whatever process they have to build JFETs. And they just make it like this. Um, and put that inside of the package. And yeah. Uh, that's all they do. And then they can vary the processes so they get different currents and things like that. So, but it's their formula for making JFETs is how they do this. And I'm sure that's how they did it with the old diodes as well. They knew how to make JFETs and they just made diodes as well. Uh, so yeah, there you go. It's actually in the data sheet. All right. We're going to be looking at a different circuit now though. We're going to be putting a resistor in the circuit. Okay. And that allows us to uh, negative bias this junction and um, turn off the current. So JFETs want to be naturally on, and this sets it to 100% on, and then this will set it to some percentage off. And then we can turn down the current by adjusting this potentiometer. So yeah, let's go over and take a look at that. All right, so we see the circuit that had the 200 ohm potentiometer. So we put the 2N5457 back in with the potentiometer. And now I'm going to crank it up. We're getting about our 3 milliamps again. And now I'm going to turn the potentiometer. And you can see that I can adjust it up and down. I can go to 3 milliamps and I can go down to 2 milliamps. So I can adjust it anywhere I want. So that's a really, really good trick to know about. All right. Uh, let's try that with our J310, which had all that current. So, yeah, let's do that. All right, so here is our J310. Once again, we're up there in current. So let's turn the potentiometer and see what it does. And look at that. Yeah, I can go down to about 8 milliamps. Here's 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, so much, much better uh, adjustment range on this. So yeah, pretty nice little adjustable uh, constant current source. Not really super accurate, but a lot of times you don't need to be. All right, well, there you go. Uh, you can build current things like this. I actually showed this once before in a Zener diode tester. I think I used this circuit to adjust, adjust a constant current thing. Um, but the chip of the day was a J511, a current regulator diode.